It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my student? Hi everyone! Welcome to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood! Hi! Hey Kim. And still me, Miss Nichols, and I'm here with my sister Kaylee Nichol. We are very excited today because today we are talking about a very special letter and the sound that letter usually makes. Now, before I just go ahead and tell you what letter and sound we're working on, I want us and everyone at home to look around very closely to see if you see some hints or clues to what the letter and sound is that we're working on today. Hmm. I see here I have a jacket, j j jacket, jacket with me. I have some j j jewelry. jewelry here. Good. I have a jar, okay, of jam, j jar of jam, and I have some oh, orange juice. Good, Kaylee, j j juice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, be thinking in your head, what sound are we hearing at the beginning of jacket, jewelry, jar, jam, juice? Hmm, what sound do all those words start with? Hmm, hmm. okay, be thinking. Hmm, I'm going to help us out, okay? Jacket. Jewelry, jar of jam, and juice all start with the j sound. Can we all practice saying that? Go j, j, g, g, j, j, okay? And that j sound, like we heard in jacket, jar, jam, juice, jewelry, good, all are made by the letter J. J. Right here, the letter J. Okay? Yeah. That J sound is made by the letter J. Up here, we have the uppercase or capital J going mm -hmm. J, J. And we also have the lowercase J going J, J. These are both called J, just an uppercase or capital version, and a lowercase version. And the letter J makes a J sound. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to practice. I'm going to say letter is, and you'll say J. Okay, letter is J. You ready to try it? Yeah. Letter is K. J. Good. Again, letter is K. J. Good. One more time. Letter is K. J. Okay. Then let's practice the sound the letter J usually makes. Just like in jump rope down here. Ooh. Jacket, jar, jam, okay. juice, okay. jewelry. The letter J makes the J sound. So now, when I say sound is, you're going to go J. Okay? Let's practice that for them at home, Kaylee. Sound is K. J. Good. Now you guys try it at home or wherever you are, okay? Sound is K. J. Sound is G. J. Very good, okay? Hopefully, we're starting to get that in our head. 
Letter is J. Sound is J. Awesome. Now, before we move on to listening for the J sounds and words, I'll be honest, this all right here is going to annoy me if I'm trying to teach with all this in front of me. So <laughs> give us a few seconds to clean up, then we'll come back and listen for the J sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks everyone for giving us a few seconds to clean up and all of a sudden switch places. We are now ready to go into our next activity of listening for the J sound made by the letter J. It's very important for us to be able to hear and recognize the J sound. That way, when it's time for you to write, and you're trying to spell a word that has the J sound in it, you'll know what letter it's made by, the letter J. And many other important reasons it helps you when reading, when hearing the words or sounds and words you're writing, okay? So we want to really make sure we're using our listening ears because we are now about to listen for the J sound. J, J, J. We're listening for that sound, okay? For this activity, we are going to read our poem two times. Ooh. Two times, that's right. That's a big, ooh, yeah. Okay, first time, you're sitting, listening expectedly. Start doing your best to listen for that J sound. The second time I read it, then I'll really need Kaylee and your help at home to help us find those J sounds, okay? But this first read, you're sitting expected listening. Here we go. Jumping. Johnny, Jane, and Jelly Bean jumping on a trampoline. A jolly time was had by all. Jumping, Johnny, don't you fall. Oh, that was a nice little poem. Okay, that was our first read. Maybe you've already started to hear the J sound made by the letter J in there. Now it's time for our second read of the poem. This is where I really need Kaylee's help, and this is a great chance for you to follow along at home as well. Okay? This second read. Every time you hear the J sound made by the letter J, I want you to jump, okay? Every time we hear the J sound, we're going to jump. So let's review. What sound are we listening for? J. Okay. What do we do when we hear that sound? Jump, okay? So this, if you are able to follow along at home, now's a good time to stand up. Spread out, give yourself some space. You ready? Thanks, Kaylee, for being our person jumping today, okay? Make sure yeah. right over here, you're ready to jump, okay? We're again listening for the J sound, J, J. When you hear it, you jump up, okay? Ready, set, here we go. Jumping. Good, because what's the First sound in jumping, j, j, jumping, that first sound is j, made by the letter j. Okay. Nice job jumping, Kaylee. Okay, get ready as we continue. Johnny, listen closely, Johnny, what's that first sound in Johnny? J, j, so what does we do? Jump. Good job. If you're at home and you're able to, make sure you're jumping along with us whenever you hear that J sound, okay? Jane. What's the first sound in Jane? J. So go ahead and jump. Nice job jumping, Kaylee. And Jelly Bean. Say that again. Jelly Bean. What's the first sound in jelly bean? J. So go ahead and jump. Doing a great job, Kaylee. If you're jumping along at home, I'm sure you're doing a great job, okay? Jumping. 
What is the first sound in jumping? Tappy. That first sound, j. Make sure you jump. On. No j sound there. A trampoline. No j sounds in there. We'll keep going. A jolly. <gasps> jolly. What's that first sound in jolly? J. So go ahead and say jump. Good job. Time was had by all. No just sounds there. We'll keep going. Jumping. What's that first sound in jumping? J. Jump. Good. Johnny. Here's that word again. Johnny. What's the first sound in Johnny? J. Go ahead and jump. Don't you fall. Wow. What a great job, everyone. Thank you, Kaylee, so much for being our model there. You did a great job. Heck yeah. If you were jumping along at home every time you heard the just sound, amazing job. Or if it wasn't a good time right now, that's okay. Go back, try it again later if, when it's a better time, okay? Now that we've really practiced hearing the j sound, like in the words jumping, Johnny, Jane, Jelly bean, jumping, jolly, jumping, Johnny. I think we really have that j sound made by the letter J in our heads. Do we feel pretty good about that, everyone? Yeah. Okay, because now we're going to go ahead and kind of put that listening ear to the test. Okay, Miss Nichols going to turn around the whiteboard to see our next little activity. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Turn it around. There we go. Now, now that we have that j sound in our head, we're going to kind of put it to practice, okay? We have some words here that we're going to have to sort and see if they start with the l sound. We learned that a while ago. If words start with the l sound made by the letter L, like in ladybug, or we'll see if words start with the j sound, like we're working on today. See if the word starts with the j sound made by the letter J, like in jelly beans, okay? So, if you're able to follow along at home, as Kaylee and I hold up the word, make sure you're thinking, is it start with the l sound, like in ladybug, or does the word start with the j sound, like in jelly beans, okay? Go ahead, Kaylee, will you choose our first wor word for us to sort? Good. Our first word is the word jar. Hmm, go ahead if you can. Do your best to say that out loud too. Say jar. Jar. Okay. Jar. Think in your head. Does jar start with l, like lar? Or does it jar start with the j sound? Like in jelly beans. Hmm. I think K. What do you think it is, Kaylee? L, L, or J? J. K. I also think it starts with the J sound. Letter J. Nice job. We're going to put that here for now. Jar. That first sound, J. Nice job. Okay, mm -hmm. Kaylee, choose our next one. Ooh, this is a fun one. This is the word juggle. Hmm. Again, Ooh. if you can say that word, try to stretch it out. Juggle. Juggle. Think about what's that very first sound you hear. Is it l luggle? Or is it j? Juggle. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Kaylee, does juggle... Does it sound like it starts with the l sound or 
or the j sound. Okay. The j, the j sound. Nice job. I agree. Juggle. J, j. Very good. Okay, go ahead and choose us another one, okay? Ooh. Okay. Now we have the word lamp. If you are able to at home, go ahead and try your best to say lamp. Lamp. Lamp, okay? Be thinking in your head. Does it start with l or j? Lamp, okay? Does it start with l, like lamp, or start with j, like jamp? Hmm. Lamp. What's the first sound in lamp? I say I. I also think it starts with the l sound for lamp. Nice job, Kaylee. Okay. Okay, will you choose another one for us? Good. Okay. Ooh, this is the word, or the picture of the word, jet. Everyone, let's do our best if we're able to say jet. Yeah. Jet, okay? Really try to stretch that word out. Think about what's the first sound in that word, jet. Does it start with let, l, like let, or does jet start with j, jet? Hmm. Where do you think it goes, Kaylee? F A K. I also think it starts with the j sound. Nice job. Okay, go ahead, choose some more for us. Ooh, this is a picture of the word. Lemon. Go ahead. If you're uh, able to at home, following along, do your best to say lemon. Hello. Try to really pull out that word to hear that first sound. Lemon. Good. Thinking again. Does it start with l, l, lemon or j, j, gemin? I don't know. <laughs> Be thinking in your head. L, l or j, j. I say hi. I also think it starts with the l sound made by the letter L. Lemon. Nice job, Kaylee. If you're okay. following along at home and maybe this is a little tricky, that's okay. You can go through this lesson, come back tomorrow after some pack practice, and keep trying, okay? Go ahead, choose our next one, Kaylee. Ooh, nice job. This is a picture of the word jam. Again, let's do our best and say jam. Okay. Try to stretch out that word jam. Hmm. Be thinking, does jam start with l, lamb? Or does it start with j, j, jam? What do you think, Kaylee? I say Okay. I also think it starts with a J sound made by the letter J. Nice job. Okay, we have just two more to go. Awesome. This is a picture of the word leaf. Everyone do your best. If you're able to, wherever you are, say leaf. <laughs> leaf. Be thinking, does it start with L, like leaf, or J? J, G, F, okay? L or J? What do you think it starts with, Kaylee? I say hi. I also think it starts with the L sound made by the letter L. Leaf. Nice job. We have one more card to go. Let's see what it is. Awesome. This is a picture of the okay. word ladder, okay? Like climb up the ladder. Go ahead, if you're able to, try your best to say ladder. Daddy. Dad goes up on the ladder? Yeah. Okay. Ladder. Okay. Honey. Be thinking, does ladder start with l, l, ladder, or j, j, jatter? Thinking, l, ladder. I Let's would, say first say sound. Hi. I also believe ladder starts with the l sound made by the letter L. Great job, Kaylee. There we go. Okay, last thing we're going to do with this activity is just review. You guys did a great job. Nice work, Kaylee, sorting those. Okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're supposed to do elbow. Yeah. 
even better. Yeah. We are sorting if our word started with letter L, the L sound, or letter J, the J sound. Here we sorted lamp, lemon, leaf, and ladder, okay? If I turn these over, yes, we got them right. You guys did a great job sorting them. I like this. They all start, as we can see, with the letter L right there, starting with the L sound. L lamp, L L L lemon, L leaf, L ladder, all with the letter L. Yeah. Now, let's check our other side with words that we thought started with the J sound, okay? We had jar, juggle, right. jet, and jam, okay? Here we go. Jar, nice job. As we can see, starts with the letter J for J sound in the beginning. <laughs> juggle, J. Nice job. Jet, j, j, and jam, okay. j, j. Wow, another amazing job. Yay. <laughs> we have jar, juggle, jet, jam, all starting with the j sound, starting with the letter j. Okay. Amazing, wonderful job, everyone. We have <laughs> one more activity. Again, you're going to need to give me a few seconds to get prepared, okay? See you in just a few. Okay, thanks for giving us a few seconds to prepare. We're yet again back. We have our last two activities we're going to do. You have all done an amazing job with learning about how this is letter J and it makes the J sound. Listening for the J sound and finding the J sound, okay? Now, we're going to put our knowledge about how the letter J makes the J sound and use our knowledge of other letters and sounds we've already learned to read some words and then practice writing the letter J and that will be it for this episode, okay? Right. So let's look up here. Up here, I see that I've written the letters J, O, B. That doesn't really help me know or read what the word is. So now we're going to go through, say each sound, and then work to blend or put the sounds together to read the whole word, okay? So again, if you're able to while following along at home, please do your best to say these sounds and then blend them back together to work together to read the whole word, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Letter J, we just learned, makes what sound? J, J, good. The letter O makes what sound? Ah. And letter B, this is the B and has the belly. Letter B goes B. Okay. So let's go back. Do just the sounds again. J, ah, B. J, ah, B. Let's keep putting them together. Blend the whole word. J, ob, j, ob, job, job. What's the word, everyone? Job. Duh. I'm hoping if you're following along at home that you're trying your best to sound out and then blend the whole word to read it together. If you didn't get it the first time, that's okay. Rewind the video, say the sounds with us, and try to read the word again, okay? J -a -b. Job. Da. Job. Job. Nice job. I'm da. Yes, you have a job? Yeah. You're Kaylee Nickel on Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got one more word to read. I thought that door. Yes. Okay, now let's go ahead and read one more word. Again, we have the letters J O G. But we need to go back, say the sounds in the word to sound it out, then put it back together to blend to read the word. Here we go. The letter J, we just learned today, makes what sound? 
J. The letter O makes what sound? Ah. And letter G makes what sound? G. Okay. So let's go back and say just the sounds now. J. A. G. Okay. Start to blend or put the sounds together into the whole word. J. A. G. J. A. G. Jog. Jog. Okay. Did we catch it? What's that word? Jog. Jog. Like I'm going to go jog around the lap. Jog. Again, if you didn't get that word right away, that's okay. Go back. Sound it out. Okay. Or pause the video. Sound it out. And do your best to read that whole word. Okay. J. Og, jog. Nice job, guys. And hopefully, as you continue to see more words with the letter J making the J sound in it, you'll get more practice with it reading the J sound. Okay. Now, the last thing we're gonna do. I know it's been a jam-packed Miss Nichols neighborhood lesson today. Is we are gonna practice writing the uppercase or capital J and writing the lowercase j. Ooh. Now, as my students are used to me saying in my class, when we see these three lines that we usually see for writing, we have our sky, the top line, the gate, the middle dashed line, and then the grass at the bottom. And here's what the normal lines look like. But if it helps you imagine this in your head, we're gonna start from there, okay? So, First, to make our capital or uppercase letter J, you're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to do my best to show this and still write it nicely, okay? We'll see how I do. You're going to start at the sky. You're going to go straight down past the gate to the grass. Curve up from the grass like you're going to touch the gate, but you're not going to. Then, pick up your pencil and draw your final line across the sky. And that is your uppercase or capital letter J. Okay? Now, let's work on practicing our lowercase letter J. Right here. Okay? For the lowercase J, this time you'll start at the gate right here. The middle line. Start at the gate. You'll curve down, straight down to the grass. Here you'll underground, past the grass. Keep going down a little bit. Then once you're underground, you'll start to curve back up like you're gonna touch the grass, but just not quite. Then pick up your pencil and do a small little dot. Here. Not on the gate, not on the sky, but right in the middle. Dot. And do I want any big like planets floating above our J? No. No, okay. Let's go ahead and try that one more time, seeing it on normal lines, okay? Uppercase or capital J, start at the sky, go straight down to the grass, curve up to between, like you're gonna touch the gate, but you don't. Then pick up your pencil, draw your line across the sky. Finally, our lowercase j, Start at the gate, go straight down to the grass, go underground, then come back up like you're going to touch the grass, but stop. Pick up your pencil, just a nice dot right in the middle. And there you have it. You have your uppercase or capital J going J, and you have your lowercase J going J, okay? Thank you all so, so much today. Okay. We have learned all about the letter J and how it makes the J sound. You've listened for the J sound. You're able to sort and find the J sound. We even practice reading it and okay. practice writing it, okay? Thank you all so much for joining us here in Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.